zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen on me. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire where there is no foothold. I have come into deep waters, and the flood sweeps over me. I am weary with crying. My throat is parched. My eyes grow dim with waiting for my God. More in number than the hairs of my head are those who hate me without cause. Many are those who would destroy me, my enemies who accuse me falsely. What I did not steal, must I now restore? O oh God, you know my folly. The wrongs I have done are not hidden from you. Do not let those who hope in you to be put to shame because of me, O oh Lord God of hosts. Do not let those who seek you be dishonored because of me, O oh God of Israel. It is for your sake that I have borne reproach, that shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my kindred, an alien to my mother's children. It is zeal for your house that has consumed me. The insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. When I humbled my soul with fasting, they insulted me for doing so. When I made sackcloth for clothing, I became a byword to them. I am the subject of gossip to those who sit in the gate, and the drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord. At an acceptable time, O God, in the abundance of your steadfast love, answer me. With your faithful help, rescue me from sinking in the mire. Let me be delivered from my enemies and from the deep waters. Do not let the flood sweep over me, or the deep swallow me up, or the pit close its mouth over me. Answer me, O Lord, for your steadfast love is good. According to your abundant mercy, turn to me. Do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in distress. Make haste to answer me. Draw near to me, redeem me, set me free because of my enemies. You know the insults I receive, and my shame and dishonor. My foes are all known to you. Insults have broken my heart, so that I am in despair. I looked for pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me poison for food, and for my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table be a trap for them, a snare for their allies. Let their eyes be darkened so they cannot see, and make their loins tremble continually. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The score of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. Let them draw back and be disgraced to take pleasure in my misfortune. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire to hurt me. Let those who say, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Let them draw back and be disgraced who take pleasure in my misfortune.
Arise, O God, maintain my cause. O God, why do you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you acquired long ago, which you redeemed to be the tribe of your heritage. Remember Mount Zion, where you came to dwell. Direct your steps to the perpetual ruins. The enemy has destroyed everything in the sanctuary. Your foes have roared within your holy place. They set up their emblems there. At the upper entrance, they hacked the wooden trellis with axes. And then, with hatchets and hammers, they smashed all its carved work. They set your sanctuary on fire. They desecrated the dwelling place of your name, bringing it to the ground. They said to themselves, we will utterly subdue them. They burned all the meeting places of God in the land. We do not see our emblems. There is no longer any prophet, and there is no one among us who knows how long. How long, O oh God, is the foe to scoff? Is the enemy to revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand? Why do you keep your hand in your bosom? Yet God, my King, is from old, working salvation in the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the dragons in the water. You crushed the heads of Leviathan. You gave him as food for the creatures of the wilderness. You cut openings for springs and torrents. You dried up ever-flowing streams. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You established the luminaries and sun. You have fixed all the bounds of the earth. You made summer and winter. Remember this, O Lord, how the enemy scoffs and an impious people reviles your name. Do not deliver the soul of your dove to the wild animals. Do not forget the life of your poor forever. Have regard for your covenant, for the dark places of the land are full of the haunts of violence. Do not let the downtrodden be put to shame. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Rise up, O oh God, plead your cause. Remember how the impious scoff at you all day long. Do not forget the clamor of your foes, the uproar of your adversaries that goes up continually. Arise, O oh God, maintain my cause. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. A reading from the Lamentations of Jeremiah the Prophet. The words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, of the priests who were in Anathoth in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of King Josiah, son of Ammon of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. It came also in the days of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, and until the end of the eleventh year of King Zedekiah, son of Josiah of Judah, until the captivity of Jerusalem in the fifth month. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and believed you were to have been consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. And then I said, Oh, Lord God, truly I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and over kingdoms, to pluck up and pull down, 
to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Then the Lord said to me, You have seen well, for I am watching over my word to perform it. The word of the Lord came to me a second time, saying, What do you see? And I said, I see a boiling pot tilted away from the north. Then the Lord said to me, Out of the north disaster shall break out on the inhabitants of the land. How solitary lies the city, once so full of people. How like a widow she has become, she that was great among the nations. She that was the queen among the cities has now become a basset. Bet. She weeps bitterly in the night. Tears run down her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she has none to comfort her. All become her enemies. Gamel. Judah has gone into misery of exile and of hard servitude. She dwells now among the nations, but finds no resting place. All her pursuers overtook her in the midst of her anguish. Dala. The roads to Zion mourn, because none come to the solemn feasts. All her gates are desolate. Her priests groan and sigh. Her virgins are afflicted, and she is in bitterness. Heth. Her adversaries have become her masters. Her enemies prosper, because the Lord has punished her for the multitude of her rebellion. Her children are gone, driven away as captives by the enemy. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. Mount of Olives, Jesus prayed to the Father, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And from daughter Zion, all her majesty has departed. Her princes have become like stags that can find no pasture, and that run without strength before the hunter. Zion. Jerusalem remembers in the days of her affliction and bitterness all the precious things that were hers from the days of old, when her people fell into the hand of the foe, and there was none to help her. The adversary saw her and mocked at her downfall. Heth. Jerusalem has sinned greatly, therefore she has become a thing unclean. All who honored her despise her, for they have seen her nakedness, and now she sighs and turns her face away. Teth. Uncleanness clung to her skirts. She took no thought of her doom. Therefore, her fall is terrible. She has no comforter. O Lord, behold, my affliction for the enemy has triumphed. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. My soul is very sorrowful, even to the point of death. Remain here and watch with me. Now you shall see the crowd who will surround me. You will flee, and I will go to be offered up for you. 
Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. You will flee, and I will go to be offered up for you. The adversary had stretched out his hand to seize all her precious things. She has seen the Gentiles invade her sanctuary, those whom you had forbidden to enter your congregation. Ka. All her people groan as they search for bread. They sell their own children for food to revive their strength. Behold, O Lord, and consider, for I am now beneath contempt. Lamed. It is nothing to you, all you who pass by. Behold and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which is brought upon me, which the Lord inflicted on the day of his burning anger. Men, from on high he sent fire into my bones, it descended. He spread a net for my feet and turned me back. He has left me desolate and faint all the day long. Noon. My transgressions were bound into a yoke. By his hand they were fastened together. Their yoke is upon my neck. He has caused my strength to fail. The Lord has delivered me into their hands. Against whom am I not able to stand up? Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. Lo, we have seen him without beauty or majesty, with no looks to attract our eyes. He bore our sins and grieved for us. He was wounded for our transgressions, and by his scourging we are healed. Surely he has borne our grief and carried our sorrows, and by his scourging we are healed. God did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. O God, you are my God, I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and call on your name. My soul is satisfied and with a rich feast, and my mouth praises you with joyful lips. When I think of you on my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me. God did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and he opened not his mouth. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, Forever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, turn back, you mortals. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. You sweep, oh, sweep them away, they are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed, in the evening it fades and withers. For we are consumed by your anger, by your wrath we are overwhelmed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light 
of your countenance. For all our days pass away under your wrath. Our years come to an end like a sigh. The days of our life are 70 years, or perhaps 80, if we are strong. Even then, their span is only toil and trouble. They are soon gone, and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger? Your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. So teach us to count our days that we may gain a wise heart. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and he opened not his mouth. From the gates of hell, O Lord, deliver my soul. I said in the new tide of my days I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years. I said I shall not see the Lord in the land of the living. I shall look upon mortals no more among the inhabitants of the world. My dwelling is plucked up and removed from me like a shepherd's tent. Like a weaver I have rolled up my life. He cuts me off from the loom. From day to night, you bring me to an end. I cry for help until morning. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. From day to night, you bring me to an end. Like a swallow or a crane, I clamor. I moan like a dove. My eyes are weary and looking upward. O oh Lord, I am oppressed. Be my security. But what can I say? For he has spoken to me, and he himself has done it. All my sheep has fled because of the bitterness of my soul. O Lord, by these things people live, and in all these is the life of my spirit. O restore me to health and make me live. Surely it is for my welfare that I have had great bitterness. But you have held back my life from the pit of destruction, for you have cast all my sins behind your back. For Sheol cannot thank you, death cannot praise you, those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your faithfulness. The living, the living, they thank you, as do I this day. Fathers made known to children your faithfulness, the Lord will save you. And we will sing to string instruments all the days of our lives at the house of the Lord. From the gates of hell, O Lord, deliver my soul. O death, I will be your death. O grave, I will be your destruction. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud, clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. O death, I will be your death. O grave, I will be your destruction. My flesh also shall rest in hope. You will not let your Holy One see corruption. Now the women sitting at the tomb and made lamentation, weeping for the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from the enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers 
and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Christ for us became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner from my mother's conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with kisseth, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore in me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgression your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings, in whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this, your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death 